Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for Tuesday. I want to say it's the 21st. Yeah, Tuesday, the 21st of November. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading's for anyone who's guided to see it and resonates with it. It is a daily reading. It could resonate right now or later on down the line and anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second and sometimes I even come back on camera as I did just the other day with an alternate ending or special messages for certain people. Okay, so keep that in mind. It happens all the time. If you could linger for just a second or two at the very end, you could get special messages. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Tuesday's reading the 21st of November for anyone who's guided. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. What are the messages? There we go. All right. Wow. Storm warning, adjacent possibilities and the world. Whole new cycle coming in. All right. So the storm warning is like the tower. Okay. There it is. So there's something coming in. It's going to put you in a new door, a new adjacent possibility. It's going to send you down a new path. Um, I really love this card. Look at the little scape root down here the little door hatch that opens and you can even go down if you have to to escape uh it just really is a cool card and we have the world which is just like in regular tarot full circle something coming full circle it's a brand new beginning um so the storm warning is that something um it, it doesn't always have to be a bad card it just means something's about to change all right, and this is going to put you on a whole new path, down a whole new cycle, down a brand new, uh, in a new door. Okay, let's see what comes mm -hmm. out. This was Energy Oracle, and we're going to be using Chakra Wisdom, and we're also going to be using Celtic Universal. What do we need to know about this reading? This is for Tuesday, the 21st of November. What's most important? What do we need to know about this reading? 21st of November. What do we need to know? What are the messages? one more shuffle all right let's take a look at it tuesday the 21st of november what's most important here okay we've got the magician in reverse we have the queen of cups oh princess of wands beautiful Sometimes this is mother and child uh, energy. The Queen of Cups and Princess of Wands are right next to each other. Yes, yeah, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. Look at that. Six of Wands is reversed. Seven of Wands is in the upright. So whatever it's going on, I feel like you're definitely, yeah, you're going to overcome something. No doubt about it. So there's something going on here. Um, let me just get these positioned here a little nicer. You got an extra card, but the last two cards came out together, so they are working together. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Really nice energy. So something, um, it's, I, you could be, somebody could try to manipulate you. I'm going to say that right now. But you're not, especially if you have cancer in your chart, you're full speed ahead. So no matter what they're trying to say or do or whatever, um, you're still going to move forward. We've got the tower here and the towers are in reverse, but this is a good tower in this deck. See how it throws the devil out on their head. So this is reversed. First of all, we also have the chariot right there. And we also have the seven of pentacles and the queen of swords at the top of your deck here. I really feel like you're moving forward with something and then someone tries to stop you or block you. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks to me like someone, um, or someone tries to manipulate you with their words because queen of swords is reversed and king of swords is reversed. This could be two people. This could be a couple. They're trying to take advantage of you. Five of swords here, manipulating you with the magician reversed here. There's something about this. And then we got this beautiful queen of cups and, uh, princess of wands, which could be mother and child, or it could be a new, opportunity or information that's very positive coming in it's really nice energy but it brings in this beautiful new beginning um this reading has a lot of fire behind it um with the seven of wands the princess of wands the ace of wands 
and this fulfillment that comes in with that 10 of coins it's really nice energy but there is something or someone trying to i don't know what they're doing they're trying to convince you of something they're trying to tell you the sky is purple when your eyes are telling you the sky is blue um i don't know what it is there's something about these people are trying to keep you from going through the other door going into your new cycle there's something here about it we're going to find out and i don't know if it's one person or two they are coming out queen and king of swords reversed and magician what do we need to know what are the messages here what do we need to know for tuesday the 21st of november all right let's take a little look let's peek at the queen of cups what about the queen of cups what do we need to know queen of cups yeah high priestess reverse pay attention to your intuition also i feel like there's information coming out tell me about the princess of wands what do we need to know princess of wands Yeah, look at that we got the nine of pentacles reversed so this could be um could this be financial we also have an emperor that flipped upside i mean up, not upside down right side up on my hand so this could be um this really could be news or information coming in it could be coming from this person it could be about this person we do have seven of swords at the bottom reverse this is if anybody was up to something that'll be seen which we had in yesterday's reading if you haven't seen it i want to look at the magician reversed what about the magician reversed here This information coming out could be about somebody who was doing something shady because we get the information coming out it has to do with the nine of Pentacles reversed this could be a financial situation tell me about the magician reversed anything at all yeah there could be some kind of an apology coming in about something it could be work related we have the eight of Pentacles and we have the page of cups so this is like i'm so sorry for what happened um this even could be um a business that reaches out to you that owes you money or something like this because like i said it looks to me like there's when something sketch going on around money here um which i still had come out strong yesterday too uh the emperor was involved and there was um i think i'm trying to remember but yeah just check out yesterday's reading if you feel like this um pertains to you i want to look at the seven of wands reversed with the six of wands no i'm sorry seven of wands in the upright with the six of wands reversed can we see them both together it's like um something that wasn't working out suddenly does whoa all right excellent so the eight of cups i really love the eight of cups because it takes us away from emotional things and allows us to move forward so if you felt like um you couldn't succeed in something or you lost your confidence or something or you felt like you weren't gonna you know look at the i want you to look at this this is total different kind of deck this is an oracle deck this is a tarot deck look at these two cards they're exactly the same we have a person here who's following the moon towards their new brand new cycle leaving the emotional baggage behind and going into a whole new cycle same exact energy so this really says to me if you were like this same thing different day over and over again same thing two of pentacles this is reversed i feel like you're going to make a decision and that decision could be to leave something very emotional behind and move towards that brand new this is an adjacent possibility but it seems to come in with some kind of um and this could be an offer this could be a job offer that comes in like you could have been like i don't have all the tools i need and then spirit says don't worry we have on the job training you know and like something like this like i don't i almost feel like um if you were in an unhappy position where it was like this same thing different day i hate this job i don't like it I feel like something's going to come in for you there's some kind of like information coming in you're going to like it follow your intuition because spirit says there are adjacent possibilities and if you feel a storm warning coming on where you're at 
I would say start thinking of your adjacent possibilities, right? If there are cutbacks or layoffs or if, you know, we're going to be constantly under, uh, you know, I'm going to say in a toxic work environment, I want to start looking outside this company at adjacent possibilities. And then you're going to get some kind of news that says here, but it says here to follow your intuition about something. I'm going to look at it. Tell me about, um, I want to look at the emperor. First of all, tell me about this emperor. What do we need to know? Emperor. Fire breathing dragon five of, so of wands came right at me. All right, so I do feel like this is a boss or somebody that you work for or somebody who doesn't pay enough with this page of pentacles here reverses. I also feel like this would be the job that you leave behind. Um, and remember, when we asked about this, there's this drained energy. There's also this lack of funds. Nine of pentacles reverse and page of pentacles reverse. So if you intuitively feel like there's going to be company cutbacks, start looking. That's your storm warning. That's your intuition. Your intuition is your storm warning. Start paying close attention or if you feel like this person's an abuser or this person's toxic or something like this start looking outside of the company and if you feel like you're the emperor and it's someone else it could be this queen of swords and this king of swords this could be a couple that you work for right so keep that in mind i don't care about gender no gender matters here on this channel but there's adjacent possibilities for you but it will be a complete change like a whole new cycle you'll go into but by using it, but it'll bring you to fulfillment. Really nice energy. We're talking the seven of wands overcomes everything. Even if it felt like it was daunting, you're going to leave that behind and you're going to succeed in something that's very positive. I'm going to look at it. Tell me about the ace of wands and the ten of pentacles, please. Ace of wands, ten of pentacles. What is most important that we should know? king of wands all right so this is a whole new person is that what we're being told so this or this also could be a card of taking action so spirit could be saying okay take action this is fiery this is passionate it's ace of wands it's king of wands it's ten of pentacles there's some kind of fulfillment here but it comes from you possibly having to leave something behind because you know that storm warnings coming in this person isn't in your highest good or this job position and i have to say that here but they're saying make sure you secure your adjacent possibilities so don't just leave your job without having a backup plan that's what i think is being said here but i want to take one more look over here at the 10 of pentacles and ace of wands because this king of wands could be a person that you're going to move towards and work for someone new very looks very positive or this is just your energy of taking an action because the king of action is an action card for me sometimes especially when it sits with the ace of wands and we also have the page of wands these are very very action oriented cards tell me about the ace of wands here with the ten of pentacles ace of wands ten of pentacles please what do we need to know about it for Tuesday, the 21st of November? Or whenever this resonates. Yeah, all disappointments are going to leave when you... So if you look closely, see the Seven of Cups? It's I have to make a choice. Do I go up against the fire-breathing dragon? Because that's the same dragon, but when it's breathing fire... The dragon's laying dormant, and this is a good time to look at it and get clarity on it. Or do I leave it behind? Because I always feel like this, like I'm alone. Like I feel like I'm, it's almost like um, you feel you're in a job position or whatever this is, but you still feel alone in it. But this is your chance to make a decision to change that by going within and really looking at it see the hermit really shines the light on something what's this hermit doing looking at the fire breathing dragon and deciding whether or not i'm going to bust free from it or stay in it well if you stay in it i feel you stay in this kind of depressive energy um you know of this seven of cups here um i feel like i mean i'm sorry this five of pentacles here it's like kind of like a, a kind of depressive energy that you're in 
because you feel like there's no success there. There's no, you're not going to succeed there is what I feel. And this is your opportunity to look at something, look at, see something from a different perspective or really shine the light on something in that something is alternate adjacent possibilities but it would constitute that you'd have to you know go for it you'd have to leave behind something um you could actually be creating your very own storm warning but what is the hermit looking for the ace of pentacles that is exactly what that hermit's looking for and this hermit is going to find this ace of pentacles it's just that the moon casts a shadow on it and we have to see beyond it we have to listen to our intuition follow our gut your intuition could be telling you all everything I'm saying right now. Um, and your intuition could be also trying to guide you through these doors to different places to put your resume in or something like this. Whatever this is, I really feel this is job related or business related in some way. I feel like you're going to get a brand new offer. And even if you feel like you're not, I still think you're going to. Um, but again, Make sure that you secure something like make sure you shine the light on the pentacles and make sure that you don't do anything, you know, without the moon is here involved in a lot of these cards, which really says, make sure that you get a lot of clarity on it. And that's what you're trying to do here is really see something clearly. There could be a new offer coming in. If this offer were to come in, um, I feel like it would be very positive. I'm going to look at it real quick. Tell me about the Page of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. But, you know, the offer can't come in if you're not, you know. Wow. Wow. Talk about a brand new offer. This is my work ace, and you've got it here twice in your reading. The Ace of Wands and Judgment. And look how Spirit's like, go, 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 do it. But what I was saying when these flipped out was the offer cannot come in unless you put yourself out there. If you got to start putting the resume in, you got to start fine-tuning your resume, get, it, get ready, prepare, prepare, prepare. I want you to see what's at the bottom. The Four of Pentacles. It's my favorite card in this deck, I believe. It's one of my favorites. This person is blindfolded. They can't see the beauty right in front of them, but they're using their other senses to uh, see how we see the sense of smell. But Spirit says, use your intuition too. But what this really says to me is there's be something beautiful that this person isn't seeing yet. But the beauty lies in the new beginning, the new path back there. But he doesn't know this yet. He, she, they. But guess what? This came out reversed. So this tells me, this is at the bottom of your deck, in the reverse. It does tell me, and look at all these cards behind it. I mean, I want you to see this. It's like a choice will be offered to you. And you're going to have to use your intuition to decide because you're going to be like, I'm not sure what to do. Look how it's like a little baby trying to decide what to do. And it will be a new cup that's handed to you. It does mean you have to release something from the past here and reflect back on that time. And this might help you, the five of cups reverse. If you could reflect back on that, it might make you really understand that this beauty ahead of you is really where it's at. There's something, this new beginning, I mean, whew, look at it. You're going to have a new offer and it's the right offer, but you're going to have to make up your mind to actually grab it, grab that cup from the universe. When the universe hands it to you, grab the cup and go into the new pathway and go down into the new doorway, into the new portal. This is your ticket to success really I mean you weren't going to have any success where you were look at that seven of wands she's very successful but it takes her leaving something behind and that something was not successful she always felt like this I'm always up against this you know I'm always up against the fire breathing dragon uh which is right here you know and I always feel like this, like I'm on my own. I, no, nothing's happening for me. I feel like I've been left out in the cold financially. And we saw that in the very beginning where there was a drained financial situation. I say, if I were you, I would start putting myself out there, thinking of my adjacent possibilities, putting in my resume and all these things, especially if in your gut you've been feeling something coming on or if you just know that you're not going to put up with this for much longer. Because I feel like when you do, 
There are new opportunities that are going to come in for you. They're going to be very positive. You're going to get good news. You're going to get um, positive feedback. Um, again, Spirit says this is a storm warning and to prepare for adjacent possibilities and to go into a new cycle. This doesn't mean, you know, quit and leave and just go into a new cycle without, you know, having, um, you know, a backup plan. That's what I'm thinking because this is all to prepare you for something. It's just the warning. Okay. All right. I hope this helps somebody. What time is it? Okay. We got to go guys. I will, uh, please do like this video and don't forget to comment down below.